don't see anything underneath it, really. The dirt seems pretty compact. Not like it was really loose. Looks like just some roots down here. Yeah. So maybe that. Uh, maybe it was just a marker. I'll keep digging around here a little bit more. See if we can find anything else. It's another good sized rock. seen anything. Alright. Alright buddy. We'll load this thing back up and get moving on. Yep. Alright. Still leave it though Mark so we can come back to it if we need to. And we'll kind of know the way that we uh, came in too. With yep. that marker. Yep. Alright. Ready, Freddy? Get it. Is that my All backpack? Right. Got your backpack, you got everything? You got yep. it? You grabbed everything from our spot over here? Yeah, we got left the marker over there. Okay, we're good to go. Yep, got my walkie talkie. Got your walkie. Whew. Yeah, there's some trees down right there. Like somebody chopped those down. The tippy top of that mountain. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Bald Eagle. Bald Eagle. That's a Bald Eagle range right there. That's the peak right there. That's the top. Yep. Been all the way up there to the top of that one. Yeah. Yep. The peak next to it. So, let's get a climb up here. Let's get going up over these hills. <sighs> oh, cool. And you see, fossilized? yeah, it's a little fossil right there. It's fossilized uh, something here. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. That's yeah, awesome. keep that one, but yeah, it's cool. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> that was really cool, and looks like it's definitely a fossilized plant. So, paleobotany. Little... Uh, <sighs> cool. Looks like a little spot where an animal, probably an elk, or yeah, probably an elk, came and laid down right here, bedded down for the night. Yeah, I'm pretty sure paleontology is the study of rocks or fossils. Fossilized dinosaurs, yeah. Yes, I know. Archaeology is the study of rocks, and I'm. Archaeology, I think, is uh, I don't know. Exactly. How well, they classify it if it's like a study of culture, ancient cultures. Archaeology is the study of human history and prehistory through excavation sites and analysis of artifacts and other physical remains. That's a good question. Yeah. There's some cool looking rocks. Cool. Ready? Yeah. Okay, let's keep moving and grooving here. Let's uh, let's go over this hill. Lots of iron in these rocks, you can see. Yeah. Tons of red. Mm -hmm. And really cool purples. Well, I got, like, Greens, blues, lots of really cool colored rocks out here. Uh, yep, and then... Uh, oh, okay. Good? Yep. Let's drop 
have to back back up. So the go shoot natives are out here. This area, this valley. Over there near Danger Cave, they have artifacts dating back, I think, what was it 10,000 years that they've been out here in these caves? So, pretty cool. Pretty cool place. You know, the history of it. Yeah. History is my favorite subject in anything. Yeah. You. Yeah. All right. I try to make noise so we don't sneak up on any animals. Gotta watch where I'm stepping. Don't want to step on an anthill. Yeah. <laughs> like those pine needles. Was little, that thing was alive. Step on that thing and be regretting it. Yeah. Like, I like noticed like we're like most like uh, anthills are. Like they're like fire ants like used to like go like the rocks or like the soft dirt. I noticed. Uh huh. Because like every time I would come up on like a little creek bank with like the rocks. Like ant sometimes. Uh huh. So I kind of like notice like where the little pebbles are, like a little form of ant hill. Okay, so we're getting pretty close here to the mountainside. Um, Benner's property is going to be down here in that area over there. So this is just a little bit above Benner's property, kind of where those ATV tracks were. So finally getting into that area just to give you guys an idea of where we're at. Look at that old, you can tell it's charred from getting burned. So maybe that was a lightning strike or something that happened a long time ago. Really old forest fire. See how it's burned, the, the wood? Mm. Doesn't really look like it was uh, chopped down, you know? Look at that. That's crazy. Whew. Came through this whole area. Yeah, look at that. Must have been a really big fire. Mm -hmm. Imagine being like a miner and like you're like mining in the cave, like something like fire starts like right next to your cave. Yeah, are you and, start like, smoke's like it's pouring into your cave? I'm like, I'm good. Yeah. Like if you, if, I'm pretty sure if you uh, breathe in too much smoke, I'm pretty sure like you can like pass out. Yeah. Smoke inhalation. Oh, look, there's another charred tree right there. <sighs> okay. But you can see it bounces back, you know? Look at all these trees still that sprouted up. Whew. Nature bounces back. All right, see, yeah, you can see the entrance to the mines now really well up there in the hills. Oh, let me see here, yeah. Just right up there, those mines right there. Those are the ones that we've been searching the last year. I'll put a link into the video where we searched those. Yeah, this is awesome. Do you see this? This tree like died, yeah. then a new tree like started growing Came like from it. Yeah. So we like we came back to those mines a few different times because there's so many different mines and areas You just can't really cover it just in a couple hours. So We've been back there probably four or five times to that just that one mining area because There's so many areas where the mines just like spider out from uh, the main entrance. So yeah there's a, There'll be a couple different videos you can check out of that mine You hear that? No. Just hear a vehicle off in the distance.
We heard a vehicle, so I just want you to be on alert. I don't hear it anymore. Okay. Love you. Thank you. Man, another burnt tree right here. This, this fire was really bad. It just swept through this whole area, it looks like. Ugh. Yeah, you can just tell it's just really deep and a lot of canyons in here, a lot of places to hide. Could be mines in here too. I don't I haven't seen a mine yet though. So but uh, I mean, I've found them in areas like this where it just looks really kind of sandy and rocky and then all of a sudden you'll walk up on a hole. You know, so you never know. Oh, look at that little dirt tunnel system. Like you, <laughs> pretty much you only see those in or like, like they just like, yeah, just popped out of there. It's funny. Yeah. Little creek bed right here. See where the water comes through. This might be a good area to walk actually. A lot of times bones end up in the creeks because the hillsides, you know, the water rush washes them down. The bones end up down here in the creeks, so Hey Dad, I got a question. I'm gonna walk this a little bit. What's up? Yeah. What was your favorite subject in school when you were a kid? Mm. That's a tough one. Probably, I don't know, PE was the funnest. Yeah. Oh, PE, physical education, just going out. <laughs> that was probably the, the best. History's still all my favorite. History, yeah, history's fun. History was, yeah, close, close second. Um, what else was fun? Oh, um, I really liked photo video in high school. That was a fun class. It was like, you get to you kind of do what we're doing right now, making videos. Yeah, I just saw a bird right there. I thought I saw a bird, but no, it's just like a tree, like a little stump coming out of the tree that's dead. <laughs> I'm like, whoa! I realize it. No, it's just a stump. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite subject? Always and always will be history and math. Yeah. History and math. Oh. Two bear subjects. Two bear. Those are good subjects too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a. Oh, I tried to break it so I didn't hit you. It's funny, like you're like a mountain nerd and I'm like a history nerd. <laughs> <laughs> So, keep going, or we can head up this little creek right here, over to another creek on the other side of this hill, I bet. What do you think? Mm, I kind of want to check out that. That looks pretty cool. Like, go up this way? Yeah, yeah that kind of looks cool. Okay, let's go up this little creek then. We really old, like, TV show, uh, uh, wild, uh, You vs. Wild? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like, should we go in the water, or should we go in the mountain? Yeah, which way should we go? <laughs> Choose now. And then you select it, and then you'd be like, Oh, I fell into the water. This is the wrong way to go. <laughs> then you start. <laughs> yeah. I remember mean, one time, like, this dude, it was so duper fake. Oh, I'm getting attacked by, by harvester ants right now. <laughs> oh! Hey, you killed the uh, bear girls. You, you don't get to start over. It's one like you. It's like I've fallen blood. This trail blood. We we'll follow the the trash can. I either. I either and, have to. And you get attacked by like a uh, wild monster. Yeah, I either have to eat this uh, cow intestine, or I can, I can eat this parasite riddled worm here. <laughs> which uh, which one should I eat? I have a five-star hotel to sleep in tonight, mind you. 
and I have actually a four-star chef back at craft services. Okay, but we're, <laughs> we're doing you versus wild uh, earthworm version. Yeah, we're doing you versus wild earthworm version. Okay, Earthworms, right. I'm gonna need you to select right now. Either do we go this way or do we go this way? <laughs> <So dumb. laughs> and like you fall and you like were walking down the thing and you like fell down a cliff. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. This was a bad decision. I knew <laughs> this was a bad day. decision. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seriously rethinking my decision right now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like... oh, oh. Hey, buddy. Hey, shh, shh. The bunny is right here. Wow, never been that close to bunny before like out in the wild like this usually they run off usually they run off way sooner than that we've I've never been that close to a bunny ever dude me neither that yeah. was awesome we were being so loud too yeah <laughs> really, that's, that's exactly. funny you can't be quiet you gotta be loud. yeah for yeah for all my hunters out there if you're rabbit hunting you gotta be loud and possibly we were doing the Bear Grylls voice. Maybe it was the Bear Grylls voice that worked. I don't know. We will have to do this for us when we're hunting now, Kane. <laughs> it keeps the animals calm and very, see my voice is a very calming, a very calming voice. And if, and if an animal hears it, it's just gonna stay real still. <laughs> Cause I'm Bear Grylls. <laughs> Like I was saying, like he walks up to like the crash site, the last episode I saw, he like walks up to the crash site and there's fall of trail blood. Yeah. And he's like a giant like big monster like grabs him. Like, ugh. Oh. And, like Did that actually happen or is this in your this is in your did, did, did a, a monster actually gets him in the in the show? Seriously, it's like you see like red eyes poking out, I'm like you couldn't edit that, you could have used like a CGI monster or something. Something better? No, it's just red eyes and like grabs and like. Ugh. That actually I'm happened joking. in the show. It's like the last it. episode I ever saw. Okay. <laughs> I'm like seriously, dude. Why can't you like? Why can't you ever like make something cool? Oh, yeah. Like Bigfoot or like something cool? No, it's just like a. Red oh, eyes, red eyes, red, red eyes. eyes. I wasn't expecting to see you getting so spoon. <sighs> Bring your three year old right now. Bring your three year old right now. <laughs> Love you, dude. One, go right, for you see, the mine's really well now from over here. Alright. So, yeah, now we're looking up, down on Burner's property over. And that area over here. So I think huh. we can go check down maybe in this canyon right here. Maybe go up on that hillside, see what's on the other side of there, and then and then make our way back. Um yeah, that sounds good. We'll see what's over here because I don't know. I've never been, really never been over here. Um, this is how the episode, skinny episode goes. Like, he's in there, like a plane crash and like he jumps out with the parachute. He lands in the middle of the forest. He's like, should I go make a coop or go find the survivors? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Back to you. <laughs> God, Back to you, Dad. <laughs> Cracking up, dude. Oh, okay. My job. This is pretty um, interesting right here. It's like this little flat land and then it goes down further into this creek. This is one, two, three. Oh. Just 
corner. Yep, there he goes. Really old. Crazy how the fracturing goes with the rock. You know, it goes from such a small opening. Awesome. You guys can see all the 